Aww, animals. The Chinese find innovative ways to carry animals home. Video of a chicken and a duck hanging out, literally, inside a plastic bag while speeding down an expressway in China has gone viral on Chinese social media. Apparently, the two were traveling along a Guangdong expressway during the Chinese Spring Festival holiday, no doubt being brought back to someone's home where they would be enjoyed as freshly as possible. Never mind being smoked by all the car exhaust and pollutants on the street first. This, however, isn't really that uncommon a sight. Bringing poultry home in this fashion is apparently what happens every spring festival. God forbid we bring our food into the vehicles, right? Not even pets are allowed inside the cars, if that is in fact a pet. People say, oh, you don't like China. I like China. Chinese woman throws coins into plane engine for good luck. A woman delayed a Shanghai flight for several hours after she had the oh-so-Chinese idea of tossing coins into the airplane's engine for good luck. According to a passenger, the 80-year-old woman tossed nine coins at the engine of China Southern Airlines flight CZ380 while she was boarding on the tarmac. Unfortunately, one of the coins found its way into the engine. Officials were forced to evacuate almost 150 passengers from the flight bound for Guangzhou while the maintenance crew checked for any damage to the engine. The old woman who was traveling with family was detained by police. She told authorities she was praying for a safe flight. What's that old Chinese proverb about throwing money in engines? Oh yeah, there isn't one. Chinese panty perv busted with over 10,000 pairs of women's underwear. A particularly pervy panty pickpocket was busted by police and discovered to be hoarding over 10,000 pieces of women's underwear in his factory dorm in Zhejiang, China. The man was caught with his pants down when one of the victims spotted a pair of her own drawers that had been stolen hanging from a balcony on a factory dormitory close to her residence. Police then busted into the room and found 10 bags of women's unmentionables, in addition to boxes and cabinets filled to the brim with panties and bras. The suspect is named Xing and in his 40s, he told the popo he'd amassed his collection over the past decade. Apparently, the dude would grab a bunch of undies and cuddle with them to help him fall asleep at night. Isn't that what Xanax is for? Cheap tourists nearly end up as tiger feed. Three tourists almost landed in the tiger enclosure when they snuck into a zoo in southern China, all because they were trying to save the equivalent of six US dollars each on entry fees. CCTV footage captured these morons last Saturday as they scaled the fence at a drive through wild animal park in Changsha, Hunan province. The three cheapskates must not have realized they were dicing with death. Because if they'd climbed the next fence, they'd either have been electrocuted or ended up as lunch for the zoo's seven Bengal tigers. Now most visitors to the park opt for the conventional method of entry, you know, by paying for a ticket on a sightseeing bus. When the bus comes through, the tigers are let out to feed right into the area of where the three amigos snuck into. Luckily for the thick-headed trio, they were spotted by security guards who grabbed them and handed them over to the cops. Not only did these fools risk their own lives, but also those of the tigers. Because if they had been attacked, who's to say the zoo staff wouldn't have killed the big cats? Loyal dog waits for lost owner after landslide buries village. More than 90 people remain missing following a devastating landslide that has rocked a Chinese village. On the morning of June 24th, heavy rain sent rocks tumbling down on villagers in Mao Xin County. The Chinese government has deployed roughly 3,000 workers to locate the injured and the deceased. One rescuer in particular has been dogged in his attempts to see his family again. This little dog, sitting atop a pile of rubble in Shinmo village, likely waiting for his missing owner. Dogs were a big part of the rescue efforts this weekend. Some were sent by wire across raging rivers, while others were carried by fire crews trekking up boulders, looking to sniff out survivors. This dog's efforts were so intense, he reportedly collapsed from exhaustion. While rescue workers continue to search to find the dog's owner and the others trapped, hopes fade with each passing minute. Sichuan province is a known earthquake zone, an 8.0 magnitude tremor in 2008 having resulted in close to 70,000 deaths.